Hi, in this video, um, I will show you how to add a receiver. So somebody that wants to be notified, receive notifications uh, on a manual sign request. So for instance, that the sign request was created, that it was signed and that it was rejected, all of these uh, things that can be added. So first of all, we have to create a data source for our receiver. This data source will be created like this. So we're gonna create the owner, uh, sorry, we're going to select the owner from our sign request record, from our sign request object. And how do we know which sign request record we want to use? That's because of this variable, sign request ID. And that variable will be passed on by SignButler to this data source to retrieve it. The query can be uh, just copy pasted from our uh, academy. So you can look at for it over there. And then Next up is we have to configure the sign request template. So if I do edit here on the sign request template, I will need to select my new data source. As you can see here, I just selected that from this list over here. And when the data source is selected, I can go and I can configure my receiver. So in this case, I already added uh, one, but of course I will just show you what I did here. I selected the role receiver. Then I selected my data source to use this data source. And then I have added all of the IDs. So uh, all of the fields. So the ID field, first name, last name, email, and then of course the language that I want to set. In this case, I don't have a language, specific language that I want to set. So I just use English. When do I want to receive notifications? I want to receive a notification when it's created, when it's signed, but not finished. So that means for instance, you have multiple signers. So every time a signer is signed, you want to be notified. And of course, when it's in an end state. An end state can be finished, means that everybody has signed or rejected. One of the signers has rejected the sign request. Also, I want to uh, get a notification when it's expired, means that nobody has actually signed it. And that, yeah, well, that is an, uh, an expiration on this uh, sign request. So let's add this uh, receiver here and then complete my setup of the sign request template. This sign request template, I have given a special name to make sure that I can identify it because this is the sign request template I want to use for manual sign requests. So um, let's go and set up a manual sign request. I have already added my document here to save some time. And now if I go next, so I can now add uh, a signing field somewhere on this document. It doesn't matter where, and then where I want one signer. So here is a demo on a uh, demo on receiver for manual sign. Okay, I have to select the correct template huh, so that it's definitely the uh, uh, the one for the manual sign with yourself as a receiver. And then I can select any uh, contact that I want to have it uh, signed. So in this case, I'm going to select for, uh, going to select Jack Rogers. And Jack Rogers is uh, French speaking, but it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to create the sign request. So when the sign request is created, I will immediately receive an email because I set in my configuration that when it's created, I already want to get a notification. So let's take a look at the sign request. And in the sign request, you will see that two mails were sent and one mail was sent to Igor Stab. So that's actually me. Yeah? So, and in this case, that's me. And I am, am the owner of this uh, sign request. So I receive the receive, uh, the receiver emails. Now that's my receiver email that I have received. So it's all nicely locked in Salesforce, as you can see. Okay, let's go back to the sign request and let's sign our uh, our sign request. I have to scroll to the end. Okay, yes, I have read everything. And now if I sign it, uh, then also the receiver would receive an email saying that uh, he or she has uh, uh, has a completed sign request that uh, yeah, that's fully signed by everybody. So. I've signed it now, let's uh, refresh it again. And then I would see, see again two emails, two new emails. So one email to Jack Rogers, of course, saying that his uh, sign request was signed, but also more importantly, an email to the owner of the sign request 
because the sign request is completed and fully signed. So now in this case, you have a, a receiver set up on your uh, manual sign request. And that's just this very nice for the uh, users to know that something is signed and they don't have to go and look into uh, Salesforce constantly and update the sign requests that they have.